Actually, on the right side of the ventricle, uh, I'll show you a conduction on the... But uh, as a pediatric cardiologist, we cannot see the uh, right ventricle inside. I'm, we are not a surgeon, so it's not important, but the uh, surgeon is very important. So this is the uh, right atrium for subalis here, and the coronary sinus, and tract valve annulus. This is a triangle of coho, and the AB node is inside here, and it goes to the uh, junction of the anterior and the septal leaflet, and pierce, and there is a premembranous uh, membrane septum, and it goes inferior part of the membrane septum, and divide to the RBBB and the LBBB. On the left side, this is the right coronary cusp and non coronary cusp. Uh, there is a premembranous uh, septum and it comes from the posterior inferior part of the membrane septum and it goes down, uh, wrapped up under branch. So the, there is an interesting case. This one. This one? No. no. Spontaneous closing. Are you even good? Are you gonna ask? Okay. This shot shows the uh, uh, left side of the ventricle, right coronary cusp, left non coronary cusp. This is membrane septum here, and there is a defect, defect here, yeah, as you can see. But on the right side, uh, there are no defect. So it, the the aneurysmal change and the spontaneous closure of the VSD. So the, as I told you before, uh, even in the perimembranous VSD, uh, when we check the echocardiogram, the, uh, on the personal long axis view, the, the aortic valve annulus like here, but device not touching the right coronary cusp, instead is located between right and non coronary cusp, there is some space here. So it may be safe, even though the left ventricular device disc, the rim length is three millimeter, but it uh, does not touch the right, uh, our right coronary cusp, so it may be safe. Okay, then uh, this uh, VST case. I'll show you the yes, uh, it's the last specimen which, uh, right. uh, it's a Huge heart, uh, as you can see, the right ventricle is big and the left ventricle is small compared. So this is the ASD with Eisenmenger patient. Open the right ventricle. Uh, okay, we can see the large ASD here. So for closing of ASD, the issue is the rim length. The, the, the SVC and the SVC rim, IVC, IVC rim, and the imperial rim, posterior rim, anterior rim. The, for, uh, regarding uh, device embolization, posterior imperial rim is very important. If the, the length is less than five millimeter, the device may embolize after the device implantation. The other issue is uh, erosion. So we still do not know the exact mechanism of the erosion, but uh, many reports show that the importance of the anterior rim, the, just behind the 
aorta. So if we implant the device like this, the superior posterior inferior portion is okay, but the, usually the most ASD has uh, no anterior rim at all. It depends on the patient. So the device may touch the posterior part of the aorta. Uh, and also, the, the other issue, if the inferior rim is too short, it may touch the AV node. So complete AV block may occur also. And the, the other one is on the left side, it may touch the mitral valve. So the length of the inferior rim is also important. But the, uh, today, uh, what is the mechanism of the erosion? We do not know, but uh, when we insert the, the device, I read this open, and <laughs> okay, like this. ASD can be closed successfully even in this large ASD, but this anterior portion, uh, irritate the posterior part of the aorta. This is the aorta. But I, will, I would like to show you the superiorly. Between the aorta and the atrium, there is uh, some uh, transverse sinus. So, but uh, I experienced one case of the aortic erosion. So the device make a hole here and also here. Two layer penetrate. So it may be... Uh, very rare, but it could occur. So, do you have any idea about the mechanism of the erosion in this kind of AST closure? Yeah, I absolutely agree with you that. But one addition is that this uh, shape of uh, a margin of AST is not stable. Mm -hmm. in the, in the, by development of pulmonary hypertension, the size of uh, uh, AST may bigger and, uh, yeah. mm. and by stretching the myocardium, the rich, uh, the limbus, mm -hmm. anterior limb may be uh, shallower and thinner, mm -hmm. and, uh, so mm -hmm. that may occur probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And also the, the atrial septal malalignment, then the, it's not spraying over the aorta, aorta instead it pinch uh, the Pinch the aorta posteriorly. Can you show me the, the shape uh, inflating only left atrial part? Right? Uh, no, no, no. You're going to... uh, okay. Yeah, all right. So this is the shape when left atrial part is inflated mm -hmm. and inflate gradually the right part. Okay. So in this case, yeah. Anyone can suggest about the erosion mechanism? Barak, do you have any opinion? Because it's the big issue in closing uh, ASD with the device. Uh, but the, 